Here's a nice application problem that you see often in both algebra and calculus. We want to enclose a field with some fencing and we have 100 feet of fencing to do it with. The field is supposed to be 1,250 square feet. One side is already blocked by a mountain. Now the question is what do the other three sides need to be in order to enclose this field? So. Let's draw a picture of what's going on and make some label some variables. So here's our mountain and it's going to be a rectangular field. Now what we need, should have said it in the problem, this is going to be a rectangular field. These two sides will be the same but this side doesn't necessarily have to be the same size. So we, will, we can use the same variable for these two sides but we need to use a different one for this side. Now we have 100 feet of fencing that's going to go along these three sides. So x plus x plus y or 2x plus y gives us our total fencing which is 100 feet. Now what's going to happen is we also know that we need to enclose 1250 square feet. So that's the area which is x times y that has to be 1250. So we have two equations, each with x and y. So in this, we're going to use substitution in order to get our equation in terms of one variable. So let's take this first one and solve it for y. So y equals 100 minus 2x. And we're going to plug this into this y down here. So we have x times 100 minus 2x equals 1,250. We're going to go ahead and distribute this x as part of our solving. So 100x minus 2x squared equals 1,250. And right now we can put each of these sides into our graphing calculator and see where they intersect. But let's see if we can solve this by hand by making it a quadratic equal to zero. I'm going to bring everything over to the right hand side. So I'm going to add 2x squared. So that will give me a positive 2x squared. I'm going to subtract 100x. And then I've got the positive 1250 at the end. And this whole thing's equal to zero. So I need to see where the zeros are for this. So I'm going to come up here And notice all of these are even, so I can factor a 2 out. Might make this thing easier to deal with. So 2 times x squared minus 50x plus 625 equals 0. Now I don't need to worry about the 2 as far as finding the zeros. All I got to do is look at the part in the parentheses. Now what I need are two numbers that when multiplied together give me 625 and when added together give me 50. So this one works out pretty nice because 25 and 25 are such numbers. Because 25 times 25 is 625. 25 plus 25 gives us 50. So we get that the dimension of side x has to be 25 feet. To find y, well remember we already solved y in terms of x here. So y equals 100 minus 2 times the 25 feet or 50. Well, y equals our 50 feet. Now this one worked out really nice because it happened to factor. If it didn't, we would have gotten to this step where we had our quadratic equal to 0 and we could have used our quadratic formula or our graphing calculator to find our solutions.